road check confirmed. System state 13, system state 6, CT4. Pre tank successful. Can we set the race condition to 2, please? Tell the operation is right. Please test the steering and uh, car is yours. We're at the Lucas Oil Raceway today in one of the early testing for the Indy Autonomous Challenge. The Indy Autonomous Challenge is a bunch of university teams from around the world competing head-to-head -head in a race like the Indy 500 with no drivers. The car has to think for itself, has to drive for itself. The place where a driver would sit has no spare room whatsoever. They've managed to cram all of the electronics, all the communication, all of the sensors into that space. The LiDAR, the radar, GPS, all these things connect to the Cisco infrastructure. At Cisco, we're here to basically connect all of those bits and pieces together. Cisco switch is booting. Today I am monitoring the Cisco system connectivity as we test the car through the parking lot. It's like a cable through the air at 200 miles an hour. A lot of folks are familiar with, with normal Wi-Fi, but you would not run a high-speed race car where safety is involved across a wireless network like that. So we're running all of that over our ultra-reliable wireless backhaul. We have a ping to the Cisco system. Ultra-reliable wireless backhaul is much more capable of providing really time-sensitive connectivity at high bandwidths in a moving environment. Ultra-reliable wireless backhaul naturally lends itself to a lot of really fun places. Being able to use it on a race car, I mean, that's the type of thing I can take home and show to my seven-year-old and he's impressed. It's really exciting for Cisco to be involved with this first-time occurrence of a very high-speed race car. Let these students try out their ideas with autonomous vehicles and do it at a speed level which has never been done before.